All right, we're going to watch JD's butterfly from above the water. The one thing when we watch his fly, there's really quick movement from the bottom of his stroke to the top of his stroke. We like that. We also like how low he stays in that water. I mean, he's right at the surface. He takes a good quick breath. Right here, we can see that breath is really low in the water. That's excellent. But you can kind of see here, too, above the water, you kind of see where he's moving his head a little bit. Um, J.D., you want to make sure when you're not breathing, you're not letting that head look forward and then drop back down. Keep that head in the same position all the way through. We're going to slow it down here, go through it again. Right here, you can kind of see, you can kind of see your eyes are looking forward, right? And then you drop your head back down and you reload that chest. Keep your eyes down. There's no reason to look forward for anything if you're not breathing. The other thing you can kind of see is your wrists are a little bit high on that exit. Try and keep those hands a little bit closer to the surface. You don't want to do, you know, when we do the boom drill, right? And that's the drill when you really flip those wrists in the back. We don't want those hands to come up quite so high. We want to keep them a little bit lower, a little bit more close to the top of that water. Right here, your hand injury, though, is so good. I mean, you are fully extended all the way through. That's great. See what our head did there. Again, you kind of start to see that head start to lift up a little bit and then drop back down. Okay. Great hand injury, though. Here's our breath. Right here, your chin is just at the surface. Your shoulders are right at the surface, so you're able to get a good stroke. You're already getting your head down. Right here, you can kind of see that your palms are still up, right? And that's part of what you're over, overthrowing those hands in the back. Right here, when your hands come out of the water, you want to take those palms from up to all of a sudden that thumbs be down. And if you think about the drill that that used to do with you, uh, I think it was the teacup drill, right? Where you're working, get your pinkies up, get your pinkies up a little bit quicker because here they're still almost palms too high up and that's going to really kind of tweak a little bit more in your shoulders than you want it to do. So get your palms down a little bit quicker and you can kind of see your wrists are bent. Now you start to turn those wrists at the last second. So turn those hands a little bit quicker than what you did there, okay? I mean, that's really technical, J.D., but that's about the only thing I can see. You want to get those wrists moving forward, get those palms facing forward a little bit earlier. Let's get into your turn. Okay, you're looking at that turn. You're looking at that wall really well. You're watching that hand, but you kind of see you're underwater here, and your hand's still above the water. Okay, you got to get that hand a little bit quicker off the wall, a little bit closer to your body. You don't want it to be fully extended. You can see here's the top of your hand, and your head's already underneath the water. Okay, you really want that hand a little bit lower, so it's a little bit more compact and a little bit quicker off that wall. That will help with a better turn. Now, J.D., here's the thing. You're coming up even with the flags. Okay, so you've got good kicks, but even with the flags, if you can try to get that streamline a little bit or longer underwater at the very beginning, about two seconds without a kick, then get in six dolphin kicks, you should be able to come up all the way out here easily, about a body length, body length, and a half farther with those kicks you have because you've got one of the strongest underwater kicks that I've seen. We've got to make sure we use it to our advantage always, Okay. That'll help knock off a couple strokes per 100 even. And as we're getting ready to turn 13, that'll knock off a lot of strokes with that 200 fly, which I know you're looking forward to. J.D., excellent. Thank you.